Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. This episode's topic is, Project Template. The goal is to have a new project template available for everyone to install. Let's get right to it. We begin by making a source folder. Inside that folder, create a content folder. Then, put the project you want to serve as a template there. Let's do a quick overview of the template project. We have a global using definition. The global static class we usually use. The game class. We set up the game manager there. Assign all the global properties. And call all the necessary update and draw methods. We have a base sprite class. And a character class as an example. The input manager handles both the keyboard and mouse. The game manager includes a small demonstration. Let's take a look. We control the character with a keyboard. Okay, let's make a template out of this. First, we create a new solution file inside the source folder. You can find all the commands in the description as well. Next, we add our project to the solution. To configure the template, we need to create a specific folder. Notice the folder name starts with a dot. Inside this folder, we create a new template.json file. We fill out a few needed values. The schema of the file. The author. For the classifications, we will use games. The identity must be unique. The name will be visible in the list of templates. We use the short name to select the template. We will also include tags to show the essential information. And lastly, the source name. When we create a new project from this template, it replaces all the matching texts. We will see an example later on. We can list all the available templates with this command. To install a new template from our folder, we use this command. We get a short confirmation. Our template is on the list now. Perfect. But we will uninstall it for now. We want to try a few more things. Let's make a Nugget package. Create a new Nugget specification file inside the source folder. It uses the XML format. We fill out the needed data again. The identification of the template. The version number. A short description. The author. The license type. The package type is a template in our case. And lastly, the readme file name. In the files section, we specify what to include. Don't forget to prepare the readme file we promised. We need to download a tool from the Nugget homepage. Navigate to the downloads and get the Nugget executable. I recommend adding this tool to your system paths. Now, we can pack our new Nugget. Great, the package is ready. We can try installing the template with the Nugget package. Good, it works. Let's test the template by creating a new project. And take a look. As we can see, the template correctly replaced the name. Okay, there is one more thing we can do. We can upload the template to nugget.org. I am already signed in. Go to the upload page and select the package. It shows a brief overview. Continue by pressing the submit button. It takes a few minutes to validate. And it's all done. Anyone can install this template now. Let's try one last time. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and learned something new. You'll find the code in the description below. Leave a like and subscribe to get all the new content. Is there a topic you'd love to see next? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.